Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon, and thank you so much for watching my PCT prep series. In today's video, I will be showing you all of the clothing items and shoes that I am taking on my Oregon Pacific Crest Trail section hike. In July, I will be doing the Oregon section of the Pacific Crest Trail, and it will take me roughly 30 days. I am taking my time. I'm doing between 16 and 23 miles a day, and we're just gonna have a lot of fun with it. So it took me about six to eight months to figure out exactly what clothing items I wanted to take, but I've pretty much nailed it all down at this point, so I'm ready to show you guys. Here's a quick overview of all of the clothing items that I will be taking on my trip. So let's just start over here with the undergarments. This is the Z-Pax dry bag that I will be putting all the clothes into. I think it's really important to have all my clothes in a dry bag just in case it rains. I do not want all my clothes to get wet, so my clothes will live in this Z-Pax dry bag. Then this is a super lightweight hat that I found at REI. I just wanted something that wasn't a knit hat to keep my head warm at night, especially now that I have a sleeping bag without one of those hoods. It's going to be harder for me to keep the top of my head warm, so I'm going to take this super lightweight hat. So to sleep in, I have these super, super soft and warm REI base layers here. These are really nice and just super cozy to sleep in. So these are like leggings and this is a long sleeve shirt. For undergarments, this is my sports bra and I was kind of debating between this one and a really nice sports bra that I found at Forever 21, but I wasn't sure how fast they would both dry. This is more of a swimsuit material almost and the other one was definitely a cotton spandex mix, so I didn't know how fast they would both dry. So I got them both wet and hung them up and saw which one dried faster and it was definitely this one. And so that's the one I decided on. It is the Arit brand. I hadn't heard of it until I asked on the PCT women's forum about sports bras for small chested women. And this brand was recommended to me, so I checked it out. They are quite pricey, but they're made for sporty women. And so it's really, really comfortable. And then next I have my underwear. I prefer thongs. I'm going to take three pairs. I have two ex officio and one pack. Patagonia. I might take just an extra pair just to sleep in, um, but I'm not quite sure yet. They weigh like nothing, so if I had an extra sleep underwear, I don't think that would be the end of the world. I'm also taking three pairs of socks. I have a pair of these Injinji toe socks, which are going to be really awesome. I tend to get blisters in between my toes, so this will hopefully prevent that. Then I have two pair of Darn Tough, and one pair is going to be camp socks. So I will only use two socks for hiking, and one pair will only be for camp. Next are the items that I will be hiking in on the daily. I have my seamless Gymshark tank top here. I have my Patagonia Barely baggies here. And then I have a super pink, <laughs> it's like neon, PFG Columbia shirt. Basically this is my only long sleeve shirt layer aside from my sleep shirt. So this will be long sleeve to protect from sun as well as if it gets a little colder. And then also if I'm hiking in cold, wet, weather, which can be likely in the early part of July. I have Gymshark leggings here. These are kind of thick and heavy, but they actually do weigh less than my Reebok leggings that I have, and they're much warmer. My Reebok leggings at this point are very, very well worn, and so they are getting on the thinner side. So I wanted something that was, you know, thicker and had some substance to it, wasn't going to rip. So these are brand new Gymshark leggings. 
and then we'll move on to outerwear. So this is my Marmot puffy coat. It is from their synthetic line, meaning it is featherless. This has no feathers in it. It's all synthetic filling. It has a awesome hood and it has one po chest pocket here, which is uh, unfortunately a little small. I was hoping it would fit my phone, but it does not. And then it has two pockets on the side. It's really nicely fitted. This is an extra small and it fits me really, really well. Uh, also keeps me super warm. I've tested this out in wind, rain, and snow. This is the Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket. It is super lightweight. That is the reason I bought it. I just needed a rain shell. I am bringing it not because I think there's going to be a lot of rain. I don't think there's going to be a lot of rain on the PCT here in Oregon in July. I'm mainly bringing it as a wind layer if it gets super windy and cold as well as for mosquito protection because it is such a light wind layer. If it is at all warm, but there's mosquitoes, I can still kind of wear my tank top or my long sleeve under this and just put this guy over for mosquito protection. It does have a hood, which is nice, and then this little like bill that goes over your forehead a little bit, which is nice so you don't get pelted with rain. It does only have the one pocket. There's no side pockets, but this pocket is big enough to fit a phone if you are wearing this in the rain and need to put your phone away and have it be waterproof. This is a super waterproof jacket. I really like it. It does also have these cinch cords so that you can uh, make it a little more fitted and uh, so that there isn't wind coming up underneath. And then I have my frog togs. I'm mainly taking the bottoms for mosquito protection. As you can see, I have leggings and shorts. There's obviously no mosquito protection there. I am taking the frog tog bottoms purely for mosquito protection. And last but not least, I have my shoes here. These are New Balance Trail Runners. They're really, really comfortable. So they are the New Balance Leadville V9. I don't even know. They had good reviews. They're, they fit me really well. They're super comfortable. Their heel drop is good for plantar fasciitis, so I decided to get these. And they were shoes that didn't really look super clowny. A lot of the women's trail runners, I tell you, are just so ugly. <laughs> So these were ones I found that weren't too terribly bad. And then we have here my zero shoes, my sandals. These are just my camp shoes. I wanted something that didn't go in between the toe because last time I did a lengthy backpacking trip, I did get blisters in between my toes. I had like thong camp shoes. And so when I tried to put my camp shoes on, it was just excruciatingly painful because I had to put that thing in between my toes. So I wanted some sandals that I could put on with socks and not irritate any potential toe blisters. And these are super lightweight. Those are all the clothes that I'm taking for my Pacific Crest Trail Oregon section hike. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about any of the clothes that I'm taking, just comment below and I'll make sure to answer them for you. Stay tuned for all the other upcoming PCT prep videos and I'll catch you on the next adventure.